Ahoy there, my name is Ben, Ben Clanton. I am an author and illustrator, or because I like to do both the words and the pictures, I call myself an author-strator of such books as the ones behind me, but also the one I'd like to share with you today, the first in the Tater Tales series, The Greatest in the World. Uh, in addition to doing a little bit of reading from, from the book, I'd also like to do a bit of drawing. So if you can, grab something to draw on and draw with. And first, though, a bit from the book. The Greatest in the World by some guy called Ben Clanton. All right, here we have it. We're going to do chapter one, A Great Start. Or at least I hope it is. This is Rot Potato. He's a mutant potato. Awesome unibrow, aka uniwow, sincere smiler, surprisingly sturdy stick legs, finds mud appealing. Early this morning, Rot woke up on the right side of the garden bed. He felt good. No, more than good. Rot felt great. Rot felt like the greatest in the world. And Rot felt like singing about it loudly. I'm the greatest in the world, the greatest in the world, the greatest, greatest, greatest in the world. Rot's big brother, Snot, did not feel great. Snot felt sleepy, sleepy, and upset, but had hairdo. Snot's favorite spot, a.k.a. Dottie, proud couch potato, tries to appear thick-skinned. Snot felt like shouting. Why are you making that ridiculous racket? Uh, because I feel great. Grump. Uh, like the greatest in the world. You? The greatest? I think not, Rot. Who does Snot think is the greatest? Himself, of course. I am the greatest in the world. Um, more like the grumpiest in the world. Nah, uh Yeah, huh? Nah, uh Yeah, huh? Nah, uh Off! I challenge you to a greatest in the world contest. Challenge accepted. Mutant potatoes love contests. But what kind of contest is a greatest in the world contest? What do you think? What sort of contest would you do really great at? Uh, Tic Tac? No. Hopscotch? Really? I had hopped you could do better than that. Uh, I know. Oh. A potato sack race. Hmm. The potato sack race is considered by mutant potatoes to be one of the greatest contests. There is no way Snot could refuse. Besides, why would he? He's never lost a potato sack race. But who will be the judge? A worm? No way. Worm is your best buddy. Uh, then who? You? Yep. Rot does not think a lot of that idea. They need a judge who is fair and honest. Someone like... Their little sister, Tot. Hi, Rot. Hi, Snot. Usually super chipper. Likes to collect stuff such as bows and skateboards. Loves all sorts of sports. And so it is decided, a potato sack race through barrel bottom bog to the top of high hill will decide who is the greatest once and for all. And that's where we're going to leave the book at this point. I, though now, would like to do a bit of drawing with you. The place most of my books begin uh, is in my sketchbooks. I am constantly doodling all sorts of different things, such as potatoes, one of my favorite things to draw. I also love drawing monsters, uh, spiders, dragons, unicorns, elephants, all sorts of stuff. Here's just a quick look at some of my drawings. Bloop, 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 bloop. And today, I want to do some drawing with you. And so I'm going to open up this sketchbook, which has a couple blank pages in it. There we go. One, two, draw rot with you. 
I love drawing potatoes, I think in large part because it's hard to go wrong with a potato. You draw a squiggly wiggly sort of oval and it already looks pretty potato-ish. And kind of the wigglier, the lumpier, the squigglier, the better. Just adds character to it. And it's such a blank slate, you can add a lot of different things on top of it here, such as a couple big oval sort of eyes. I'll add a few ovalish pupils here. Ugh, it's looking at you. Who? Rot. A couple more ovals here for some nostrils. Rot's a pretty happy character most of the time, so I'm going to go with a great big smile from eye to eye with some little, well, not so little, uh, tombstone and sort of teeth here. Scribbly eyebrow. And some little squiggly hairs coming off the top here. Those surprisingly sturdy stick legs. And then just below the mouth here is where I'm going to draw a line coming out for one of the arms with four little lines for fingers. And another arm over here. Hands are handy. And let's add some little potato markings here and there. Just kind of finishing touch. And there we have it. That is how I draw a rot. And I often then like to add some stuff to my characters, such as we could add a little mustache. Maybe Rot's feeling pretty spiffy, has a bow tie. Maybe he's going roller skating later. What sort of things are you adding to yours? There we have it, that's Rot. Thanks for drawing with me. Uh, that's it for this time. I hope you have fun and I hope you have a spud-tacular rest of your day. Bye!